Okay, but I've got this zucchini that's in the garden that needs to be eaten and I'm running out of ideas, but I just got inspired by all the food that's coming this, uh, this season and this speaks of end of summer and fall all at once and so I'm gonna do a stuffed zucchini that has a little different spin than maybe you're used to and hopefully it inspires you to stay with me because it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna have flavors of summer and fall in here and if this does inspire you to stay with me, I want you to go down in the about section below this video, hit show more, and I've left a bunch of links for you. I've got a link to my Wild Tree website, and you know I always use Wild Tree products, all natural, organic, no preservatives, no GMOs. Uh, you can go check that out, maybe look into becoming a rep or becoming a culinary member and getting 20% off every time you shop. Uh, I would like to then send you to my Facebook page. Go over there and like that page. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever I upload anything. So let's give a shout out. It's time for a shout out. I'm excited. So I'm going to give a shout out to Sal over at Root Boy Slim. And I've, I've given him a shout out before, but I just love this guy and I really want him to succeed and get to that mark where he's happy. And we'll, uh, well, hopefully he'll enjoy this because I'm using beer. <laughs> so I'll leave a link to his channel. Go over there and subscribe to him. And he's a great cook. He does a cook every week. And uh, just, you know, look forward to watching his videos every single week. So go over and check him out because he's always got a fire in the hole. All right, guys, let's go make this stuffed zucchini a little bit different. All right, guys. I've got this nice big zucchini here, and I'll show you how I cut this because I want to hollow it out, but leave some of the zucchini flesh. We like that flesh in there, and I'll use the flesh that I hollow out in some of this mix as long as it's not too, you know, um, Oh, kind of mushy and, and full of seeds, which I don't think it will by the time, you know, by the looks of that big one that I picked. So the rest of my ingredients are, this is one medium to small sweet onion from the farmer's market, and these are outstanding onions. Uh, a big large clove of garlic that I minced up, two stalks of celery I've chopped up pretty fine. I've got a handful of cranberries and two strips of bacon that I crisp off. And this is a honey crisp apple which is gonna be mirrored by this Honeycrisp apple beer. Um, this is a Honeycrisp apple wheat, actually. And it's a seasonal beer, it's just delicious. And Sal, I hope you like that. Um, I actually am not a big beer drinker, but I really like that one. So I'm gonna cut my apple last and I'll cut it up in similar size cubes. I don't want it to oxidize before I get it on the stove. So let's get this zucchini done. And how I'm going to do that, let's move this. We've also got some uh, breadcrumbs here. And obviously, this is going to be way more recipe than this zucchini can hold. So, tomorrow going in the solar oven it are going to be little muffins of this um, stuffing. And I'll put those in the solar oven to uh, cook and be delicious. I've got some California style pepper garlic blend, and I've also got European dipping garlic oil. Um, from Wild Tree. So all we're gonna do is cut each end off. You can see that's not very tough at all. This hasn't gotten to a mature stage, I guess. One of my subscribers said that the zucchini, if you let it go like I did that big one, it will hold in your pantry for uh, months. So I don't quite go halfway. I'm gonna actually take that top off like that. Um, I don't wanna lose too much. And I can save the zucchini. And it, see, you can tell it's not very seedy. There's no mature seeds in there. I can still use that. I'll scoop out that mix. I just scoop along that with my spoon and get that kind of um, softer center out of there. That's beautiful. Right there, just roast that by itself. So then I'm gonna go in here and do the same thing. And I'm just taking my spoon and we're gonna scoop out what we don't want in this. And getting all those seeds out of there. So 
Let me finish that off so there's plenty of room for stuffing and oh, it's gonna be so good. All right, guys. Okay, so I've got my burner on, about medium, medium high. I've got a tablespoon of bacon fat in there. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of uh, the garlic European dipping oil. And I'm gonna go ahead, because normally I would use quite a bit of butter. I'm gonna use a good tablespoon of butter and get that melted down as well. I'm gonna add some pepper to this mix. Uh, season it, fabulous. And then I'm also gonna add some, little bit of Himalayan pink salt. Not much, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. And I want my uh, tougher vegetables to go first because they'll take a little bit longer than let's say the zucchini, and that's my, my famous red scooper. So the onions and celery, we'll put those down first. And if the zucchini lands in there in the mix, so be it. The garlic, and so the the onions will keep the garlic from burning, the onions and the celery. And you're just really going to saute this until they become a little bit translucent. When they're about halfway there, I'm going to add the rest of this mixture. And then we'll be adding our beer. That'll be delicious. It's just going to be fabulous. And you could do this with sausage as well. Um, I've done it with sausage. This is a great filler for a winter squash as well. So if you guys have winter squash like acorn or covered squash or any of those harder squashes that you want to stuff, this is a great stuffing mixture for that. So I'll bring you back when I'm a little bit further along and I'm adding the other stuff. All right, so this is perfect. When you can really smell the onion and the garlic, and this is a sweet onion, but I can smell that garlic getting fragrant and the onions are kind of turning translucent. It is time to add the rest of your stuff. So we're gonna add our apples and our zucchini, which will get soft pretty quickly. Sorry. We've got our California garlic pepper blend. This has got very, very little sodium in it, um, so I don't worry about getting too much salt in anything I do with wild fruit. Okay, so it's time to add our beer, and that's going to cool this pan right down. About half your beer, and then the cook can drink the other half. I don't know that I could drink <laughs> that, but I'm, uh, it makes me full. I might have a little bit. Mmm, look at that. And all that's gonna, I'm gonna cook off the alcohol basically, and it's just gonna make this delicious. And then the chicken stock here is gonna send it into a little savory moment. Okay, so while this is simmering down and the alcohol is cooking off, I was looking out the window here, and here's this beautiful purple kale out there. And I thought, well, I'll be darn, I need to put some kale in there. Sneak that healthy vegetable, and it needs a little pop of green. So I'm gonna put that in there as well, let it cook a little bit just to soften it up, and then we're gonna be ready to put this together, I promise. All right, finally, we're ready to put this together. So I'm just pouring the ingredients out. I'm doing this right-handed, so it's not as easy as it looks. And this pan is really hot. Okay, that's good. I'm going to put this back over here. Okay, I'm going to toss this together. Now, I will tell you that I added a um, teaspoon of herbs to Provence. I'm also going to add right now, while it's rehydrating, this is the Rancher Steak Rope from Wild Tree, and it's got a great blend of um, all organic products, sea salt, black pepper, garlic, uh, cinnamon, cloves, and ginger. And it just adds a great flavor to a lot of different dishes. So about, you know, a heaping teaspoon, not quite a tablespoon, heaping teaspoon, 
It should be plenty. Ugh, now I can smell it. Isn't that pretty? Look how nice that's coming together. That's just perfect. And these are gonna make a great side dish as well. And then I'm gonna to toss in the bacon. That's gonna be our meat, but I'm also gonna add some cheese. Why not? Some shaved Parmesan. Parmigiano Reggiano. You wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. That's perfect. Okay, there we go. And you can tell this is gonna have a lot left over, so let me get that stuffed and put in the 350 degree oven. And really pack it down uh, so it stays nice and moist, but yet it won't be too all right, wet. So it's all stuffed. <laughs> It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know what you could ask for or anything more. It's going to be a pretty presentation as well. The only thing I'm going to do right now is top it with a little more of that shaved parm and just strategically place it. It will end up getting brown and kind of adding a little bit of a crust on there. Just a minute and then I'll bring you in for a taste test and it really smells amazing. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay guys, here it is. And it looks and smells fabulous, and I can't wait to taste this for you. So I've got this top, you know, the Parmesan got really crispy, and the top of the stuffing got crispy. There were some bacon bits on there, but yet our zucchini is holding up well. And you're just going to get in here and grab yourself some stuffing, <gasps> some crispy topping. Whoa. Hold on, because nobody's cooperating right now. Okay. And it's cool enough, thankfully, that I can have a bite. So, doesn't that look fabulous? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Maybe I'm missing some oh, cheese or bacon. So excited. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm going to try to bring you along for this palette ride. I had the crispy topping. I can taste the bacon and the sweet cranberries. The onion is sweet and delicious and soft. And then I get that kind of that, uh, not quite bitter, but I get a balance of the kale and then the bread and the chicken stock and then I get that background of that sweet apple flavored beer. It's fabulous. I can't even tell you. I just love it. So I hope it inspires you to, you know, step outside the box you might be in, try something new because this is delicious and I'm sorry I'm going to eat in front of you again. You know though, I tried to do videos without doing that, and I got I got in trouble for that. Everybody wants to hear how good it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. This is a great meal by itself. Now, you could certainly have this with something else, but this is going to be me tonight. I've got my starch. I've got my protein. I've got tons of vegetables. And I have a beer, Sal. <laughs> and so don't forget to go see my friend over at Root Boy Slim. I've got his link in the description box below. Uh, and I don't know if I can get this. Okay, hold on. Yum. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Sorry, that was a big bite, but it's fabulous nonetheless. So go over and uh, check out his page. Subscribe to his channel. Tell him I sent you. And as always, guys, I hope that this brings you back. I hope it makes you subscribe to my channel and keep watching. And, you know, check out all the links that I've provided for you. And most of all, I just want to see you next time. All right, guys. God bless. <laughs>